Hey there everyone, welcome to Engineering with Pritam. If you are new to 3D design or looking to get into it, you are in for a treat. Today we are focusing on one such 3D modeling software known as Saper 3D. And the good thing about this is not only available for Windows, but it is also made for Mac OS. Actually, they started with iPad and slowly they have released Mac and Windows version as well. Now, I would say the software has become popular over the years because of its cross-functional capability. Now, before we dive in into how we can download and install it, please consider subscribing to this channel as we keep on bringing these kind of videos that are going to help you to improve your productivity and knowledge in day-to-day -day life. Now, coming back to our screen and let me quickly open Google Chrome. And now I'm gonna type here, Saper 3D. And here you can see the first site is of this software itself. So we simply need to click here on, um, you know, this link. And not to worry, guys, I'm going to also provide you this link in the description of this video so that you can directly reach here. And then now I'm going to click here on Download Shaper 3D. So here you can see it's going to give us these multiple options. And as I said before, it started with iPad and now it is also available for Mac OS and Windows. So in this case, I have Mac macOS so I'm gonna click on download for macOS and meanwhile we are downloading the software we also required to create sign up so let's click on sign up and open it in new tab and let's click here on pricing so if we see here it is available in three different plan the first one is basic plan which do not have any kind of fee then the second one is pro that start with $25 per month or you can pay $2.99 build annually which actually do not going to give you any such benefit even if you paid annually let's say if you choose monthly plan then it's gonna cost you 38 dollar per month but if you are paying it for year then it's going to cost you 25 dollar per month which is good i would say there is another catch let's say if you are a student or educator then in that case you can get it for free for one year i'm gonna show you quickly how you can get that as well for that that here we need to click on sign up and then um, you know we need to enter our email address so I'm gonna enter my email address here and then the password and then you can click on I have read understood and agree to terms and condition and then click on sign up meanwhile I do the sign up I can see that I also have downloaded the setup let me open the setup and then I simply need to drag it to application that's I would say the easiest way to install the software and now here we can see the account is also created and let me now click on subscription so by default we can see it is super 3d basic and you can start um, you know 14 days free trial if we click on it we need to provide our zip code and then we need to click on continue and then it will ask for car retail so in this way guys you can activate your 14 day free trial or if you enjoyed it then for sure you can get it for 2.99 now let's go back and see how we can get it for one year if you are let's say student or educator in that case let's remove this pricing and type here education now here you can see the education license is free for student teacher faculty for one year and that is really great guys because nowadays most of 3d parametric softwares they are even paid for student so they are not actually building their community but the software like super 3d actually giving people opportunity to learn how to work with these 3d parametric software and thus making their community as well so now how we can sign up for student or teacher you can do that by filling this request form and we can also read about this application process so here you can see let's go back here and click on request form so here since i am using gmail address i'm not using edu email address correctly so that is why it is asking me to you know log in through your school address so if you have your school address then you are simply sign up using your school id but what if in case your school or university do not have provided you email address in that case you can click on continue anyways and then you know you can define whether you are a student or a teacher and then here you can type your name so I'm gonna quickly type name 
and last name and then my school name and the majority area of study and in this case saper 3d will manually verify your account and will grant you one year license in the same email id that you have used now let's check the software that we have just installed now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna click here on launchpad and now i will type shaper 3d and from here i can launch it if you are opening this application for the first time then you know you need to click on get started and you need to sign in using same account that we have created few minutes ago and here you can also see this is powered by siemens which is great Siemens is a company which also make other popular 3D parametric software such as Siemens NX and Solid Edge. So they already have successful product and this one is one of the most modern one I would say. And now here we can see it is also giving us option what kind of device we are using for modeling. So it is great guys because generally we require dedicated mouse or separate mouse if we are using the 3D parametric software in laptop but here you can also use trackpad and keyboard so it's great to see that it also support trackpad and keyboards as well Thanks. now let's to rotate make the camera, it full screen right click and drag the mouse and here we can see the basic tutorial which shows us how we can you know move it using keyboards so that is also very nice to see but let's say you are using mouse then you simply need to press right click and in this way guys you can easily rotate it so if you press shift button together with right click you can actually pan your model so here you will see to move the more. camera press the here middle mouse button see. and drag the mouse or press the shift key and right click and drag so here you will see more such basic tutorial to do that. You can also pan your model by middle mouse scroll wheel as well. So that's the another way to pan your model. That's great. So let me click on continue. Then here we can see another basic tutorial to zoom in and zoom out that you can do by rotating your scroll wheel. And then um, it also showed us another method with the mouse to do that. Press the control key and pan Which vertically. Which is by pressing control key and pan vertically. Now let me quickly click on close and again click on Shaper 3D. So that we can start. The bad thing about this software is despite you know the basics how you can interact with 3D model this tutorial is good but I would say this is again the rose part because you cannot skip it. So you need to go through all these tutorial and keep on continuing. Let's learn how to sketch. Now it is asking to draw to a line select sketch. So let me do it quickly. Let's choose different color than what he's specifying. Um, here, let me choose carbon fiber or um, maybe this glossy ABS. This also looks nice. And then let's choose. Um, and then let's choose this glossy transparent polycarbonate. Here also we can see on the top use material. We, I guess, also can set up environment. This also look nice. Now let's again click on continue. So finally we have completed this mandatory basic training. Without it, you may not able to access this software. Now finally we are ready and we are now ready to go. Let's click again on start designing. Now this is our 3D coordinate system and we can start with sketch first. So let's quickly draw again a circle. You can define the value of it. Let's write 25 and now let's tilt it a bit and we can extrude. Let's again click on this space and now I'm going to hit space bar. It's going to make the plane sketching plane parallel to screen. Now let me place again another sketch. Now let me define its value. And now again, let me exit this sketch and rotate it a bit. I'm going to cut it down. Let's also perform other basic operation. For example, let me provide chamfer here of 0 
and in this way guys we can walk with this the only con here i see as of today the saper 3d do not offer us feature tree so that at any time if we want to modify the existing as this is another variant of parametric modeling sometime known as direct modeling so so this is the biggest drawback of the software so we are excited to see how that will work but still i would say it is a great software especially if you are aware of how direct modeling work you do not need to worry and there you have it saper 3d is ready for action on your machine with software installed you are just few steps away from transforming your design process if you are looking to enhance your 3d modeling skill on any platform then you are in right place hit the like button if this guide was helpful and i will see you soon in my another video till then you take care and bye bye